As you may have heard by now, Vernon Forrest, a former three-time world champion, was killed late Saturday night during an apparent carjacking in Atlanta. Forrest was an Olympian but made a name for himself by giving Sugar Shane Mosley his first two professional losses seven years ago. For some perspective on Forrest's life, both in and out of the ring, we welcome in Sugar Shane to talk more about the guy. Uh, Sugar Shane, uh, can you tell us what went through your mind when you first heard the news about Vernon? Uh, it was shocking. You know, I, was, I, was, I was amazed. I couldn't even believe it. Um, you know, I was definitely uh, I was saddened by, by this tragic death. It was, it was just shocking. How did you find out about the news? Um, my friend, uh, you know, told me on the, off the internet. Actually, he said, "You know, Vernon Forrest has um, has been shot and killed." I was like, "What? No, I can't believe that." Yeah, it, it was uh, it's crazy. All right, once again, uh, he gave you your two uh, first professional losses inside the ring. What made him so tough in the ring? Um, you know, Vernon had a, a great jab and a, a nice long right hand, kind of like Tom Hearns. And um, you know he was very uh, a very skilled fighter, um, you know very, as a competitor, uh, hard you know, competitor, hard fighter. I mean he uh, had that will to win. He was uh, just, he was just a tall, lanky, strong fighter. And he just seemed to have a style that 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 just you couldn't handle in a sense. But what do you remember most about those two fights in two thousand and two? Uh, well, I mean the first one, the first fight, uh, you know, just being hit with the with the uh, with that right hand. Um, you know, and trying to get it inside. He had a terrific jab, trying to get it inside and and uh, and battle with him. And um, but he was just uh, he was quick and uh, and strong. And of course, you guys battled. You were competitors inside the ring. But what was your relationship like outside the ring? I mean, me and me and Vernon, you know, went back way back since the uh, Olympic days, and uh, we had a, a pretty good relationship. I mean, even after my last fight with uh, Margarito, he was like, you know, great fight. You know, he was still uh, a friend, um, even though he's competitive, he's a friend as well, and, and, and um, just was a great person. Uh, give us an idea of just how good a person he was. Well, I mean, you know, he was a, you know, a great guy outside the ring as well. I mean, uh, you know, he had his... Uh, you know the thing with the with the kids in the community, and mm-hmm. um, you know they they gave back to the community. Um, you know, family man, and you know it's, I know it's going to be difficult times for for the family and everybody. I mean, but he's a, he's a great guy. You know, he's always uh, giving. Uh, he's a caring guy. Um, you know, when when it comes to his friends and stuff, I mean, he's very loyal. Um, he's a good guy. Hey, Sugar Shane, I'm going to ask you this. In, in the last month or so, the boxing world has lost Alexis Arguello, Arturo Gatti, and now Forrest is too soon into some form of violence. Uh, how much does that make you reflect on life itself? Uh, I mean, you know, I definitely uh, I feel, I'm, uh, feel a little, uh, it's a little scary uh, to, to know that these guys are, are you know, just, just drop off like that. And me and Vernon being, you know, around the same age, um, uh, it's just scary. It makes me really, um, truly, uh, you know, want to show and live. <laughs> All right, Sugar Shane. I uh, really appreciate you spending some time with us on, on a very difficult day for everybody in the Boston community. Sugar Shane Mosley, thanks for hanging out with us here on First Take. Thank you.